Hello and welcome to my fourth tutorial. Uh, recently, the East Coast United States was buried in like, three snowstorms. Three snowstorms were completely buried. So, guess what today's tutorial is about? That's right, we're doing snowdrifts. So, we start in Blender, and let's see, here's a preview of the final product. It's nice looking snowdrifts. See, today's tutorial focuses mainly on using Blender's uh, color ramp feature. But, um, let's see, I did this tutorial before and wound up being too long for YouTube, so it'll be a two parter. This is part one. Uh, we'll be doing the actual textures for the snow, and in part two, I will do implementing them in Blender and making sure it all works. So, let's get on with it. Let's see, we go to GIMP. We start with this. Make sure we have uh, black and white colors. And we're going to go up to filters. Uh, let's see, render, clouds, and solid noise. Okay, let's see. Uh, make sure X size and Y size are at 16, the maximum. Make sure randomize is on, and we want it to be tileable just to save us some work. We don't want to have to go back into Photoshop and manually make it seamless. All right, that looks good. Make sure there are no imperfections. I don't see any. I had, I had one case, but uh, let's see. Let's go to filters, go to map, and let's go to normal map. And let's see, go to... Make sure scale is, I think 20 is good. Yeah. And let's see, before you hit OK, go to 3D preview, click on it, and make sure it looks good. It will give you uh, what it looks like with an actual shader, and once the normal map is implemented. Uh, I'm not going to do it because for some reason my uh, video capture software can't uh, uh, capture it correctly for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, I did this earlier, so it works. Uh, I'm just going to hit OK. And that's the base for our snow normal map. Um, now we create a new layer. Uh, call it noise, as I have done this before. OK. All right, so so you make sure you have your fill tool and fill up the background with black. There we go. Now we go to filters, noise, and go to RGB noise. Okay, so turn off independent RGB and uh, red, green, and blue sliders all the way to one. So we have this uh, white noise against a black background. Hit OK. All right, let's zoom in and make sure that looks good. Yeah, I think that's what we're going for. Let's see, let's go back to filters and go to blur, motion blur, because we want to have like this, uh, it's like going up and down kind of thing. Uh, snow falls in layers, so we're gonna create those layers. Make sure angle is 90 and length is four. Hit okay, that looks good. And now we're going to go to map, normal map again. 20 is way too much this time. So let's make it 4. Okay, go to 3D preview again. I'm not, because I already told you. All right, that looks good. Now, let's see, make sure the layer mode is normal, and we're going to decrease the opacity down to, let's see, whatever looks good. I think. 45, 42, yeah, 42, meaning of the universe. And, see, I think this looks good. Zoom out, make sure. 50%, and, yeah, that's what we want. So, save this, and uh, I've already saved it uh, before. I have it pre-made. So, let's go into Photoshop, where I have this waiting. And again, make sure black and white colors render clouds. 
and let's see. Actually, no, wait, I made a mistake. Let's see, we want to go into swatches and replace the black with 10% gray. Yeah. And uh, hit Command F or Control F on Windows to repeat clouds, and we get a subtle uh, white with gray variations. Yes, that's what we want. Let's see, make a new layer. Layer 2. I don't, I don't, this isn't going to be a big file. So, uh, let's see, increase. We want uh, a nice subtle blue. Uh, leave green where it is, blue all the way, and let's decrease red down to uh, 206. Looks good. Uh, go to brush, and uh, make sure, make your opacity, I think, uh, 36. Good. Select one of your grunge brush brushes. They come uh, pre-installed with Photoshop. You just gotta select them with the arrow. And just start clicking various places. Uh, change the pattern so it doesn't look redundant. You know, some people have good eyes and they'll be able to find flaws in whatever you make. Alright, I think that looks good. Uh, let's make another layer, layer 3. And we are going to hit D. Now we make it uh, black and white. And hit G to do our fill tool. We're going to be adding noise. Noise, add noise, and uh, 42%. Yeah, 42 again. Hit OK. And let's see, we want to change the layer style from normal to, I think, screen. Let's see how screen looks. Can't see. Zoom in a bit. That looks good, but let's decrease the opacity down to 70-something percent. Around. All right, that looks good. So that's our color map. Save it as your color map, and now, now we move on to our specular map. New layer, um, call us uh, spec. Fill it up with black again. Zoom out so we can see what we're doing. And hit a Command F or Control F. So we repeat our noise filter. That looks good. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. And we are going to go into uh, levels. Now, uh, if you've ever seen snow, you've ever, ever looked at it real closely, you'll notice that when the light hits it in a certain way, it sparkles like a wannabe fake vampire. Yes, I just made a Twilight joke. So, to get the best effect, we take the black slider and we move it to the right to increase the levels of black. And we do so until most of the light grays are gone. And hold on, I think I want to try something. See, I just noticed, I just noticed this. Uh, this could actually be a great technique if you're making a star field texture. But, um, you know, if you're making a, a space game. I'm getting off topic, so let's move this back. You'll listen to me. Um, play around with it until you get what you want. This looks good, so okay. Uh, save this as your specular map. You got your normal map, you got your color map, and your specular. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, part two, I'm going to implement these into Blender, and we'll get our snow material. So, uh, see you in part two.